Our programs include many languages. Please log on to our program's schedule for more details. suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule Nos programmes comprennent des émissions en plusieurs langues. Pour de plus amples informations, consultez suprememastertv.com par oblique schedule. Unsere Sendungen werden in vielen Sprachen ausgestrahlt. Den Sendeplan finden Sie unter suprememastertv.com schrägstrich Satchel. It makes me feel happy saving all these dogs, Roman said. But it doesn't just make me happy. I'm sure it makes all the dogs happy. Watch on to find out more. Hi, happy viewers. I'm Sid from vibrant Los Angeles, USA. We in Los Angeles wish you the great joy of sharing much time with your loved ones, including your animal companions. Welcome to our program, Project Freedom Ride, a young activist's great love for dogs. I just adore animals, and dogs are one of my favorite kinds. Of course, I'm not the only one. You probably love dogs too. Today, I want to introduce you to a boy who by the time he was only six years old saved more than a thousand dogs from animal shelters that sadly euthanized the residents when the facility is full as a means of population control or both. By contrast, no-kill shelters will not put down animals to maintain space and believe it is not right to euthanize them to keep population numbers low. The caring young gentleman's name is Roman McCann. His mom, Jennifer McCann, told American television news magazine Inside Edition, Roman opted to forgo birthday gifts on his fourth birthday and get money to help an animal rescue shelter that he had seen on a pretty regular basis. You see, in 2015, while still living in Texas, USA, Roman and his mom rescued and adopted a dog companion named Luna. Luna is their newest family member and was a special friend to Bubba, the first dog they adopted. Previously, Luna temporarily lived in a Texas kill shelter. The mother and son fell in love with Luna and later wanted to save more dogs. The pair discovered that most shelters were overcrowded with dogs lacking caregivers. The policy at most Texas facilities, like the one Luna came from, is to periodically put down unadopted canines. Roman and his mother knew that this system means most Texas shelter dogs have a low chance of long-term survival and something had to be done about this inhumane practice. Mrs. McCann even brought these concerns to her local government officials and state legislators. She pushed for changes in state laws so that Texas communities and animal shelters would preserve their residents' lives. In summer 2016, the family moved to the state of Washington, USA, after Roman's father, a U.S. Navy serviceman, was assigned to work abroad. As Roman and Mrs. McCann's passion for saving dogs grew stronger, they decided to set up an organization called Project Freedom Ride in December 2016. Their goal is to help dogs move out of Texas kill shelters where their lives are threatened to no-kill facilities in Washington or new homes with loving families. 
One of their first Project Freedom Ride efforts transported 31 dogs from high kill shelters across Texas to Washington State. One of the reasons Jennifer McCann and Roman took this step is that after the move north, they discovered that many people in the Pacific Northwest region of the U.S. are very willing to adopt dogs. Tasha Sport is a volunteer who works with Project Freedom Ride and the Texas nonprofit animal rescue group Midland Animal Shelter Adoptables. In a January 2018 interview with the Texas-based TV channel CBS7, Tasha stated that 24 of the 111 dogs about to be transported from Texas to Washington that day were already adopted. Miss Sport added, there are more people wanting to adopt than there are dogs. So many of the shelters sit empty. People wait for our animals to arrive. They just greet them with open arms. Volunteers like Tasha Sport accompany the dogs in a climate-controlled trailer as they make the long trip of over 3,200 kilometers over three days. At least two stops per day are made to provide exercise and meals for the darling pooches. And today, over 50 dogs are rescued from shelters every month. It makes me feel happy saving all these dogs, Roman said. But it doesn't just make me happy. I'm sure it makes all the dogs happy. How does Project Freedom Ride get the word out on the rescued dogs who need forever homes? One of Roman's brilliant solutions is to make videos to personally introduce the furry friends to people who might otherwise never know that such beautiful, loving doggies are available for adoption. Project Freedom Ride people, we got the 2019 calendar for Project Freedom Ride. On Project Freedom Ride's Facebook page, there are many of Roman's videos, plus charming and delightful photos, mostly taken by Mrs. McCann, of the cutest dogs you have ever seen. To me, it looks as if the dogs are all posing in the photo shoot, and somehow they all seem to have a sparkle in their eyes, like they know they are being interviewed for new homes. We'll return in just a few moments, Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television. Welcome back to Project Freedom Ride, a young activist's great love for dogs. program profiles Roman McCann, a young boy with a large heart for the animals. The previously mentioned CBS 7 News report stated that as part of his publicity efforts for his charity, Roman picks out the dogs that he wants to record and show the public. He spends lots of time at animal shelters and chooses to promote the canines he connects with, especially the kid-friendly ones. Charming Roman seems to always melt hearts with his messages of compassion that are seen on social media and TV. On Instagram, there are even more pictures. If you take a look at Roman with each animal, you begin to appreciate how loving and playful the dogs are. I can imagine myself adopting so many of the pooches, especially after seeing Roman's kindness and ease with these furry friends. I think that the natural bond Roman has with the rescued canines is genuinely inspirational. I can't help but love them too. Would you like to see Roman and his mom trying to find a home for Legend, a special needs deaf dog, who waited to be adopted in a no-kill shelter for at least a year? Take a look at this clip from their appearance on Washington TV channel King 5's program New Day Northwest. 
They also posted a video on the Project Freedom Rides Facebook page in which Roman explained about Legend's situation. Roman asks with all his heart if someone would give the friendly canine a home. This video received over 53,000 views. Legend was adopted sometime after Roman's appeals, and here is how Mrs. McCann conveyed the good news on her Facebook page. November 15, 2017. Our dear Legend has left the Pacific Northwest and is headed for his new forever family in Colorado. Thank you, thank you, thank you to everyone who believed in him and shared his story. Happily, the Tedder family in Colorado, USA has added Legend as its newest member. I really like him. He's probably the best dog I'm ever going to get. Roman's dad, Jeff McCann, has returned to the United States and now works in Georgia, USA. So, in summer 2018, the family moved to the southeastern United States. Since shifting to Georgia, Roman has kept on with his efforts to assist canines and as of November 2018, Project Freedom Ride has relocated 1,350 dogs and 50 cats. His stellar work has certainly not gone unnoticed. The American Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals, ASPCA, a U.S.-based animal protection nonprofit gave Roman the 2018 ASPCA Tommy P. Moynihan Kid of the Year Award in November 2018. The ASPCA states the honor celebrates a deep commitment to animal safety and welfare by children and teens who work year-round to help find new ways to help the animals in their communities. Roman was selected for saving at-risk shelter dogs and finding them forever homes. Project Freedom Ride now closely works with the Augusta Animal Services Shelter in Augusta, Georgia, where Roman goes to record videos to let us all know there are sweet doggies needing a family. And in late November 2018, Project Freedom Ride had 28 rescue canines transported from Texas to Idaho and Washington. I hope Roman and Mrs. McCann's work has touched your hearts as their sharing and caring have truly inspired many others. For me, learning from their benevolent actions has been a blessing. For the McCann's selfless efforts on behalf of the beautiful canines. Supreme Master Ching Hai thankfully present the Shining World Compassion Award to Project Freedom Ride, plus 15,000 US dollars with lots of love and hugs to Roman and Jennifer McCann and all the dogs in God's mercy. Supreme Master Ching Hai is deeply grateful to the beloved God for all the financial help, comfort, and support to the afflicted and needy and or any good cause over the years as a humble vessel for his compassion and love toward his precious children. For more information on Project Freedom Ride, please visit facebook.com forward slash Project Freedom Ride and instagram.com forward slash Project Freedom Ride. Amazing viewers, you have been our wonderful guests and our appreciation for joining us today. Up next is Rumi's poem, As the Orchard is with the Rain, Part 3 of 3, on Between Master and Disciples, right after Noteworthy News. May we always give a warm smile and encouraging words to all those around us. For more details and to check out our schedule for language availability, please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash gpgw 
and suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Pour plus d'informations et pour consulter le programme des langues disponibles, visitez suprememastertv.com barre oblique gpgw et suprememastertv.com barre oblique schedule. Weitere Informationen und den Plan für die verfügbaren Sprachen finden Sie unter suprememastertv.com-gpgw und suprememastertv.com-satchel.